Now let's begin by swanning the arms up and down eight times. Here we go, one and down. This is two and down, three and down. Make sure the feet are underneath the shoulders, hip width apart. We're going to make sure that we drop the tailbone down and lengthen the spine with a plie. So this is a bend. And what we want to do is make sure that the kneecap is over the middle toe. Five, six, seven, and eight. Now we'll take a shoulder roll back for two. Forwards to go up and down. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Add the plie. And for two and for three. Let's take one more plie. And now for our next stretch. Over to the right, add the right arm. Don't pull the arm here, allow natural weight to fall. Keep dropping the shoulders. Release and roll round to the other side. Adding the left arm. Try dropping the chin. And breathe. and release. We roll back to the beginning and now we add four more swings. That's one and two and three. Getting bigger each time, dropping the weight forwards. And we're going to interlace the fingers behind the back of the head. Inhale and just gently drop down with the chin just to stretch the upper back. Practice tucking the tailbone under here and sending the navel towards the spine. And placing the fingertips around the side of the head, we're going to inhale and rise onto tiptoe, onto all five toes. Keep breathing, lifting out through the top of the head, tailbone is long. Inhale, lift the arms up and resist the heels as you lower down. And now we roll through the spine. Wonderful stretch for the hamstrings. Drop the head here, allow the neck to be free. Bend the knees, and as you roll up, inhale sequentially through each section of the back so the head is last. Open the chest, open the shoulders. We're stepping through the feet now eight times, and we just really want to start warming up the ankles and the calves here. And then we add the shoulder forwards to go back eight times again. And now we're going to add the elbow and two and three. Try and make the circles as big as you can. Six, seven, eight. We're adding full arm now. One, two, three. You can try looking back. And five, six. Keep walking into the floor at the same time. Back to the normal walking with no arms, but adding resistance as if you're treading through mud. So you make it a little bit harder to do, really working through the feet, toe, ball and heel. Now we're gonna pull a rope as if it's coming down towards us. This really engages the abdominals. Six, seven and eight. We're gonna reach out to the side, sequentially shoulder, elbow, wrist a five, six, seven, and eight. And now extending the arm out with side reach. So taking that left arm up, drop the shoulder here and side. If your back's a little bit sensitive, just add the hand to the hip. Reaching over and now to a flat back. Really allow the bottom to stick out here as you allow the back to try and aim to be parallel with the floor, drop the chin as well. Back arm leads away, you rest the back arm on the back and you drop the head as we take the back down towards the knee. Holding onto the shin or ankle, we drop the lower arm and we circle all the way round to the left, lifting up. One more circle all the way down, lift up. We open the arms, bend the knees, drop the head, butterfly the arms up and roll up to standing. Stand tall to go on the other side, lift the right arm, drop the shoulder. 
hand to the waist if you need to support your back. Stretching over as far as you can, really opening the rib cage and the waist, flat back. Here, really allow your abdominals to engage to support the back. Drop the chin down. So you aim to send your spine to the middle of your left leg. And we circle round to come up to standing and we have two more circles, here we go. One, all the way round, take it as big as you can, arms up above. And last one, knees track over the middle toe, open, roll down, butterfly the arms and roll up with an inhale. And we're gonna hug the arms in towards the chest now. So opening, exhale, hug. Adding the bend as well. Deep, deep bend. We call this a grand plie. So sitting down as deeply as we can, tracking knees over middle toe. Really great to get down into the hips there. And now we start the carriage of the arms. So we're doing four in each place. We're doing first position. The fingers come in line with the lowest rib cage. First in front, and we open to second. This is first, and this is second. Now into third. There's always a line from shoulder down to elbow, wrist and fingertips, sequentially down like a ski slope. So this is our third position fingertips in front of lowest rib cage. Imagine you're taking the arms through water up to fourth and the line for the top arm is the diagonal line forwards from the nose so we're never taking the hand behind the head. You always want to see your hands in your peripheral vision. Last one up and now we take the arms up to fifth so both arms all the way down with the arms now, up to fifth, and let's add a plie all the way down, lift up, so you just get used to these different arm carriages, drop the shoulders the whole time, lifting, exhale as you plie, and our bingo wings. So really good for toning our biceps and triceps. We add the plie and straighten. Experiment with taking the bingo wings bigger each time you do this. Keep breathing. Bigger still. Making sure you're tucking that tailbone down. Draw the navel to the back of the spine and shake out the arms. Let that all go. We're going to come down to the floor now. Feet come hip distance apart and we lift the hips. The fingertips face the heels as we tricep dip. What I want you to do is imagine you're trying to send the elbows away towards the back wall and you will still want to engage the abdominals here. Resist the down. Don't allow the hips just to collapse here preventing that bingo wing, pushing into the heels. And crouching into a ball, we'll come to a press up position and these are your options, onto all fours or on a diagonal line or full press up. So choose your option. I'm gonna go with the diagonal line, release the toes and we're just gonna take eight soft press ups, shaving the elbows past the rib cage. As you go down, you exhale. Really use your abs here. Well done. Let's come onto our knees to finish and take a tricep stretch. Take the left hand behind. And if you want to deepen the stretch, just lift the chin up slightly. You've worked your arms brilliantly, so let's just make sure that we leave this muscle long and lithe. Lifting the chin if you want to develop that stretch. 
and swan the arms down to finish Swan Lake. 